The overall aim of Tillman Arc is to develop reduced tillage systems under organic conditions. Today we have our kickoff meeting with researchers from 10 countries and 15 institutions. Our consortium comprises different expertise, namely soil science, also, we have experts in weed science, in plant nutrition and in crop science. Yeah, the Tillman Org project, it's uh, divided into six different work packages. And the first two work packages are uh, involved with compiling data from existing experiments about reduced tillage and green manure use in organic farms. And then producing a meta-analysis on this data. So this includes results from trials that are run by partners in the project, but also uh, information from the literature that we're going to source as well. Yeah, in the Netherlands we have several field trials, and it's actually because of two experiences or two developments, Organic farmers are very much into the soil and they are constantly looking for new solutions and they realize that this every year plowing on 25 centimeters deep is not so very good for the soil. At the same time, policy developments uh, put a pressure on, let's say, sustainable soil management. They realize that soil management has to be improved everywhere over the world actually, but also in Europe. So, and we know that already organic agriculture is good for the soil. But at the same time, conservation agriculture. So how can you combine the best of these both worlds into, uh, into a good practice? And organic farmers are very much interested in that. So there are a lot of organic farmers in the Netherlands who are experimenting with different things of soil improvement. Actually, we are running experiment in Munich since 1992 on reduced tillage but in integrated farming. In Germany, the situation for reduced tillage in organic agriculture is uh, like that um, about or less than 5% of our organic farmers refrain from using the plow. So now is a leader uh, long-term trials based on the comparison of four tillage systems applied in organic, no-till systems, minimum tillage and traditional plowing. Uh, we are comparing reduced tillage uh, to plowing. Uh, we have a good experience with a combination of reduced tillage and compost application. Yeah, there was a farmer, organic farmer, he, he suggested us to, to use the French machine, Actisol. So the Actisol can be used in, in two ways, for a shallow, a shallow till or a deeper till. In a, in a time of four years, we perceived differences in carbon content between the use of reduced tillage in combination with compost application compared to plowing with farmyard manure. So that will, with that will produce sort of a state-of-the-art uh, publication on what is going on right now in the organic industry related to using green manures and reduced tillage. But then we also have some more specific uh, work packages looking at issues associated with green manures and reduced tillage, especially uh, weed management is one of the work packages. Efficiency of nutrient use in these systems and also the effects of these systems on soil quality. Working package three is mainly related to soil quality, to carbon stocks and nitrogen stocks, but also to greenhouse gas emissions. So in the new field trial we will test um, three different tillage methods um, and also three different cover crops. Um, and we are measuring the greenhouse gas emissions during the whole season. We have expertise in biogas production and we developed a system to monitor uh, several uh, biogas digesters at the same time. And our intention is to use the same system and modify it to uh, monitor greenhouse gas emissions from a, a large number of plots uh, continuously during the, the season. Yeah, weeds are uh, 
One of the, of the most serious challenge in, in organic farming and, and more specifically when we aim at introducing reduced tillage systems in organic farming. So clearly we need to find a, a good way to take them under control but at the same time our expectation is that through appropriate management we can also save the part of the wheat community which can also support biodiversity and ecological services. We've seen some increases in weed populations after reduced tillage, but what we have seen is the crop has actually benefited from reduced tillage in terms of its establishment. So in, although we had higher weed populations, those weeds didn't actually affect the yield of the grain. To manage weeds, uh, two things are important. One is to develop new tools and new machines to improve weed control, and also to to incorporate new, new crops into the rotation. Uh, we developed with one machine with a farmer that is uh, sowing uh, seeds, fine seeds like carrots, in a strip of, let's say, compost. And uh, in this strip, the, the, the weeds emerge very slowly or late, so you have an advantage for your crop uh, in the competition of the weeds. Work package 5 is about green manuring. It's a kind of optimization of the role of green manures within a system with reduced tillage. It's a, it's a gathering of data about how much nitrogen is brought over from one year to the other by means of green manure, that's one part. And the other part is reconstructing this in the model for a better understanding. We have set up three experiments in Witzenhausen. And um, we're having uh, different green manure crops and we're going to incorporate the green manures by different tools, different soil tillage tools. So we are either using the conventional, the classical plow or we are doing some sort of mulching system by using a cultivator. And the extreme version would be to do direct drilling after the green manure crops. And then the final work package, we try and bring together all of these findings into some real useful prototypes for farmers to actually use on their own farms. So really trying to design systems using reduced tillage and green manures that will be optimized for specific farmers to use.